difference from made of? Protein. So you know inside your cell you have proteins that are encoded by your DNA. The DNA encodes the genes. The genes are encoded for the proteins. They're the, they're the workers of this. They're the molecular machines. They're like biological mechanics and they go and they they're like little machines and they carry out all the reactions of life to keep you alive. So what we'll do is we'll make lots of protein, take pure protein and grow a crystal out. And we need a crystal, because in the crystal they're all lined up the same way. So we bounce x-rays off them. All of the scattering adds up together, so we get a pattern of spots. Um, so why do you need good nitrogen? That's a good question. The x-rays would damage the crystal. And that's a crystal that that loop's been broken off. I won't go to that one again. You can see that loop's got nothing in it. Um, so why the liquid nitrogen? That was a good question. And the reason for that is, when we hit the crystal with the x-ray, we don't make the crystal very cold. It will blow the crystal up. It will cook it, just like if you break the egg in a frying pan. You have it, it goes all white and cooked. So we keep the crystal. This thing here is a big thing. It blows gas over the crystal. And the line is 200 degrees. Yeah, and that stops the crystal from getting damaged by the radiation. So, because they're cold, if we let them warm up, they'll, they'll die. So that's why the robot has to cool its holes down. They have to keep the cold gas on, just to keep it cold all the time, keep it safe. Now, the robot, because it was in liquid nitrogen, all that metal got cold. So, the humidity in the air forms.